Happy Thursday, Thursday, everyone. It's me, your co-host, Zach, and this is the Whiskey House Pub House. I am joined today by my fellow co-hosts. Please it introduce yourselves. It's Carter, and I'm hitting the gritty. Stationary gritty. Stationary And gritty. also, it's your boy, Dylan. <laughs> Why are we always, like, the boys, you know? Like, it's your boy <laughs> when, like... Because that's what we are. I mean, well, that, that was yeah. a reference to something. I don't to know what? There's so many boys. No, it's, skinny man. It, it's your yeah. boy, skinny dude. I know. I, I, <laughs> but skinny the guy. phrase, it's your boy, is not just pertaining to that it's one meme. B-O-I. <laughs> I know, but there's so many boys. How yeah, many that's ways a B-O-I can you spell it? No, I was going to say, but B-O-I is not just skinny dude. Uh-huh. It's, boy is literally, you can, you can put that into boy. any boy, like boy. From God of War, boy, or boy, that's from a good boy. from RD, RDR two. Give me your boy. Both of those are boi. Or if you if something is a boy, as an adjective, or sorry, as a noun, then boi for funsies. You know, not not actually literally grammarly correct. You know how terrible we are at setting up for the intro, like the the music intro. I think this is the best. We, the we're intro. always really bad at that, so let's okay. just do it now. Roll it. That was a good intro. <laughs> you know what that intro was? Disappointing. I was thought you were going to say extraordinary. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, guess what today is? Other than Thursday, Thursday this is the 50th episode. <gasps> Let's go. What does that mean? Well, for that, we are swinging around back to some of the whiskeys that we have tried on episodes like as far as maybe even like episode four, some of the original five, five, ones, some of the original yeah. ones, maybe even some of the unreleased bourbon, pl- not the bourbon palooza, but the unre- yeah, unreleased bourbon episodes, mm-hmm. bourbon, Scotch trials. I think there's actually one from Scotch trials. I think that we was on, yeah, hmm. yeah, at one, least one. Well, there's like four of them. Yeah. So. I still have files on my computer from Bourbon Trials, like the the first one. How do you have files on there? Because I did all the the, the video, not the video editing, the photo editing for the thumbnails. Oh, that's right. I have all of our faces uh, cropped out and chopped into PNGs. With... Zach is actually really good at VFX, and he just rotoscoped everybody yep. out. Yeah. And I was... put, I you know, I, I rasterized your guys' faces onto like. 3d models mm-hmm. and then i had the i had a, i made a little unreal engine animation of us yeah. doing a podcast it was perfect in a way better setting than basements it and lonely rooms and bars <laughs> and i mean those are good settings for a whiskey podcast but those all have terrible acoustics so <laughs> well it's true it's um, it's anti it's it's an oxymoron it's anti-establishment dissertarian <laughs> I've never heard you pronounce such a big word before. Oh, because he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He never oh, heard that, him. That wasn't even the word. Yeah, you never heard him because he never did. <laughs> he missed the mark a little bit. Yeah, well, just a little bit. I was gonna give it to him. Um, Liquor boy, give me sustenance. So I guess, yeah. So ex- explaining what we're doing, we have a number of whiskeys, ranging from bourbons to Irish to scotches. To smoky scotches to unpeated scotches. I think to... all those three are so distinguishable. Oh, they are. Compared to like you get <laughs> bourbons, Irish, three, three local different regions kind of, of, <laughs> of Scotland. Scotland. And though we know what bottles um, we're re reviewing, mm, it smells like we do not butter. know in the order that they are coming to us. Um, these are being poured via our liquor boy. Who you have heard on previous podcasts now? He he did a great job. He did a great one. job. Carter wasn't there for that, no. and he hasn't listened to it. It's okay. This dis- this smells disappointing. Yeah, it smells like bubble gum. It so, smells like bubble gum ice cream. Do you know? I I know that we've had bubble gum notes and other stuff before that we have 
Yeah, that we've enjoyed. But so what's different just, about that? This note. It's just straight bubble gum. It just doesn't taste like anything else. It's so prominent. You haven't tasted it yet. You just smelled it. No, that's how he's, he's, he's tasting, tasting with, with his, his nose. nose. I see. Yeah. Or, you you okay. don't understand, No, what Dylan, you got to do is you got to... complexities of Carter's... Uh, I have taste buds in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> is I, have it, a, is, I have a genetic is, mutation. His nose hairs are so long and tenderly that they can like feel the, and get a good grasp. The, the inner like roof the, of his mouth has like a cutout where <laughs> he can stick his tongue <laughs> up into his nose. <laughs> It's like, oh, Eliza, Eliza. <laughs> this is no. dashing. This, I don't get a whole lot of bubble gum. It just smells stale. Like the smells old. I don't know if you were in the room, but we added one where you were gone. And uh, no, he was here. Oh, for the diamonds, no, he wasn't. Put diamond in here. The diamonds might be in. Okay. Here. Um, yeah. So I mean, we know what's what what the the lot of whiskeys that we were doing, but we don't know the mm-hmm. order. Obviously we couldn't really do it completely blind because one, there are whiskeys, so we had to bring them. So yeah, that we, was kind yeah, of we... out of an op that was not an option. Yeah. I know what I've sm- I just, I feel like I know this smell. I just can't put my finger Well on I'll it. tell you for sure we have had it before. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys, I'm I'm blown away. Yeah. This is a good test though we can even recall like the accuracy of what things tasted like. <sighs> yeah. Because, yeah, you know what this is. I think it's, uh... I have a guess. What's your guess? What's your guess? I, I got a... Well, you I, were the I one that was going. Guess. I don't have a guess. I was guess. just trying to buy you time because you, like, forgot. I think it's art, but... No, it's not. The, this, to me, one, the color is too dark. Mm-hmm. It's way too dark. Um, I am... I think it's psychosomatic a little bit for me, but I do kind of think this is diamonds. <sighs> this is not... Yep. I'm going to drink it before I guess. Okay. Nope. It is a scotch. It's Ardbeg. No, it's not. I know exactly what this is. What's the other scotch that we had in here other than the other? It kind of tastes like the... Um, it's not It's not in here. It's the... Um, what's the Lowland whiskey that's very popular? Akintoshin. Akintoshin. This ah. tastes like an Akintoshin. Um, see, see, see. But it's not because it's not an option. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts are before I say my thought. I'm I, try, I can't remember what scotches were optioned. I because I technically I didn't see all the bottles because some of them were six of them were in bags. Well, I I just remember I don't think any of yours were scotch. They must other than the black art. Ding ding ding! We got a winner. And then mm. you had the one art bag mm. and the normal and the, I don't think this is black. So art. the color on this. You know, when I was on the nose, I was thinking diamonds. The color obviously looks like a bourbon mm-hmm. as far as age, but that scotch is 24 years. Yeah. I think 24. Um, Liquor Boy, can you confirm the age on the black art? Not that this is what we're drinking, just the age on that. So while he's doing that, 26 years, 26 years my Whoa. mistake. Uh, but this is a cask strength at 45% and change. Um, I think this is a mixture of sherry. But I, I'm not 100% sure. Definitely tastes like it's got some sort of finish. That's what I'm it. thinking. Which is why I think on the nose, I thought maybe it was a bourbon. Yeah. You've you've convinced me so much that it has to be this, that it, I, that's going to be my guess. Okay. Black yeah, art or the... The black art. I don't, I, I don't know if it's black art. So if we're guessing that, but we're this is a re-review. It's yeah. like, compared to our memory of the black art, yeah. coming back to it, what what uh, do we find that we don't remember and how does how this stand out? I remember the black art smelling fantastic. I remember distinctly enjoying how complicated it was just by the scent. We had that the same episode or the same night we had a bunch of whistle pig products. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wonder if maybe those rye smells just kind of carried burned over. Out or, yeah, or burned. Well, no, because I, I liked it then and I don't like it now. So. Or I think it's I think it's plain. You now. think it changed oh, no. the yeah. like I think the rye smell kind of changed how what your nose was back then. Yeah, yeah. And I think so because in my re review right now, I'm saying this smells old. It smells dusty. I don't. I didn't get no bubble gum personally. I thought it was very plain, um, and it tastes kind of dark malty, and it's very caramel like a bourbon would be. Yeah, I really like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. To mine because it's a 26 year old scotch. I don't but, think it's um, 26 year old scotch. Um, I enjoy it a lot, but it, it's not as good as I 
remembered. But we'll see what happens after mm-hmm. I do the water. Hmm. There's like a little bit of sulfur note to it. Um, on the nose, which I do enjoy. And it's very faint. It's not like it's a pre- like a super present one. It's kind mm-hmm. of nitpicking at it, but uh, yeah. In my subsequent sips, oh. were very herbaceous. Kind of had a little bit of. It wasn't spicy. It just kind of tasted plant like. It's very leaf- yeah. leafy. Yeah, you get a sweetness on the end. But mm-hmm. well, it's super floral. It's like a dew. It's yeah, a morning dew. I can't explain it, like, cause it's very kind of like. <sighs> I guess I'm not sure how to explain flavors it. flavors are hard. I know it's like it's so difficult. Like, so the tastes like a good Chick Fil A sandwich. <clears throat> tastes like Chick Fil A nuggets. Delicious. Uh, it's like very just pronounced in the mid palate, and it's very yep. it kind of kicks you in the face a little bit. Yeah. Um, little kind of a little fruity. Yeah. But it's like towards the end, you get like a very faint, um, like, I don't know if I would say vanilla, but just like kind of on the back of your tongue taste. That sulfur note that I was referring to, that that's where it's coming from is if, if this is a sherry finish, it's coming from the sherry, not from the whiskey itself, but the barrels. That's what it's becoming from because sulfates. But uh, I think we should give us like a quick review, like especially because it's a blind, we can give it a little out of ten action, and then Ooh, a little chocolatey too. Yeah, that's that chocolate for sure. But not like a dark chocolate, like a milk chocolate, like a milky chocolate. I liked it better without water. <laughs> I would give this a re-review stamp of approval of six and a half. I would give this a re-review of a five and a half. I really, I'm, I'm not getting a whole lot of like great things out of this. I think it's pleasant, and that's kind of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not getting. It's not long lasting. It doesn't smell that good. It tastes good, almost great, just good. And yeah, it's. It, I like that it's gentle. It does have a little bit of easy sweetness. There's no harshness to this. Mm-mm. It's very mellow. And mellow's good. Mellow's a great thing for a whiskey. Mellow good. For my re-review, I'd give it a... I'd give it a six. Okay. So we're all kind of off yeah. by a point or a yeah. half point. Yep. Yeah. We have a margin of error. Yeah. Of one. This, for me, is long-lasting, though. I still got really? a good flavor yeah. Maybe it was on my water. tongue. It's peppery. Mm. The, the, the after, it's the long-lasting note of like a little bit of pepperiness. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that, and then I'm like, it's just like because it's the first whiskey, it could it's just be the alcohol, and my tongue hasn't like gotten that. used to it yet. Because if we were to have this in like five drinks, I am certain that this oh. would not have a long lasting finish. Absolutely, I don't think this this is not something you can have uh, as after a, something. It else. can't hold right. up against yeah. anything else. It has to be drank by itself. Yes, yeah. and it has to be one of the first things. Yeah. Um, are we revealing these as we go? Or I think we, we should because I don't want to. I, I don't so. want to make Liquor Boy remember the order that he poured them in. So, okay. okay. So we're we're set with revealing as we uh, yeah, do as we it. Go. Okay. So Liquor Boy, what is this whiskey? Yeah, the black art. This black is arts. indeed the black art. Okay. What edition is this? Oh, it's uh eight point one. Eight point one. Edition eight point one. Okay. It's good. It's, it's way of, way worse than the nine point two that I've never had. Yeah. Just just put it out there. Yeah, but our Octomore though, mm-hmm. of of which we have two. Our, <laughs> oh, we have one. One. I finished mine. Oh, okay. What a dork. But at least you could buy the. Why new- didn't we say we had to re-review his just out of spite so we can have it again? Yeah, just so we could have more of it. Um, I'm just happy that because of the reserve bar, I can get more if I really? want to. Oh, how yeah. much are they? It's two hundred and seventy dollars. Oh, so basically it's like 30, retail. It's like thirty five dollars more than retail. Yeah, but what's that? But when Everyone's you're in, shipping. When you're, yeah, well, I don't know. It's probably gonna be three hundred after. But then also, it's just margin. You know, like that's a ten percent bump. Yeah, that's totally worth it. That's like tax, <laughs> pretty much. So, 
I probably and it's but it's probably just going to be the newest one. You know, I don't I didn't see any older selections, which is fine because if, if it means that I can always have a recent one, that's I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I do want to really try the the newer ones, mm-hmm. but uh, um, one question I think that we that I kind of wanted to ask. Um, since this is, this is the fiftieth episode. Looking back on the other episodes, what would you guys say has been some of your favorite um, things that we've covered or just favorite episodes mm-hmm. um, or moments? You know, my favorites are always the blinding ones because it really exposes what I do and don't like, you know, things I thought I liked, like rye whiskey. I, I thought I liked rye whiskey, but when no, I have no them by himself and I compare them to like great bourbons, they're, I don't like them as much. Mm-hmm. Um, and... I also like the challenge of trying to figure it out because it's just fun. Like what we're doing right now, it's fun to trip. Like what, yeah. especially when it's, this is kind of a, it's not a big pool, but it's, it is, it's, it, there's a level of difficulty to discern what is in these glasses. Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed the black arts if he didn't say it. Just saying, I wouldn't have, I, I forgot that was in the list. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad it was though. Cause that was disappointing for what I remember it tasting like this also smells like a scotch that's what i thought too this yeah um run it run to the next one fellow listeners run it back run it back i'm not convinced but i did think that which means i do think it's malty Mm -hmm. as some would put it it smells really pastry like super bready super I carb, think I know where you're sweetness. going with this. This is Wonder Bread distilled. This is one. It, you know what? It is oddly similar to like a white, just a yep. white, just a bread. white bread. So, yeah. so I, we know what this is. <laughs> Unfortunately, Irish. Uh, no, I no. wasn't thinking no. Irish. Oh, I was no. thinking Irish. I was thinking American. Okay, so no. we're, there's. I'm assuming there's yeah. a separate three way we have no. right now. Well, I guess I, I mean we'll know it when we taste it. Well, so before we taste it, what do you guys? I'm curious what you guys are thinking. I think I this think is it, the cake. This is the birthday we cake. We didn't put any cake Oh, we didn't do that. No. I thought we threw it in there. No, oh. no we decided not to because okay. both oh, of me oh, and Dylan yeah, liked it. Because you guys yeah, liked Carter it. Carter and I yeah. both liked it, so gotcha. it wasn't like a... Yeah. I think this is from the state. I think this is the Irish whiskey. The, uh, the Waterford? Waterford 1.1. 1. 1. I don't remember how that one was at all. I don't all. either. I cannot recall. I, I don't remember it either, but this smells like it could be an Irish. I don't think it's Jake this is way too complex to be Jake Harbor. Mm. I'm drinking it. All right. Mm. I don't think that's bourbon. That's not a bourbon. It's a malted whiskey. I think that's the Irish. It's kind of hot, though, too. I don't I remember the... Uh, well, that Irish is hot. It's like 50%. Yeah, 50. I don't remember the Irish whiskey tasting like that. So I'm going to be honest. This was better than I remember. It's way better than I remember. I if am that's... surprised. If that's if the this, Irish, that, yeah, exactly. This is way better than I remember it being. Also, liquor boy, can we do smaller pours going forward? Yes, please. Mm. That would be nice. These are like regular servings. <laughs> There's okay. The second pour, I I stand by my. I think it's the trifecta. No, it's not hot enough to be trifecta. At 117 proof, this is not hot enough. I don't think that's hot. this is hot enough. The it's in our glass. Mm. This I. Okay, I'm tipping. I might not drink mm-hmm. like 117. I'm yeah. starting to sit back on the fence. Yeah. And that stupid, stupid, like, di- wild tricky diamond is starting to enter my thoughts again. No, this is, this is at least. This doesn't this, taste like it would be a wild turkey. It's not hot no. enough to be the turkey, though. Well, what's the, what's the diamond? 45-ish, I think. Right, that's, it's, that's lower. Yeah, so this I, is, I feel like this is slightly above that, but not oh, for sure. over 50. I, no, I think this is... I think I, it's above I, 50. I think this is 55%. Mm. I think this is 110, something around there. Man, I gotta... I gotta try to nail it, nail it down. It seems slightly young, like grainy forward, but it does seem malty... With caramel notes and vanilla, which the vanilla was a big portion of the diamond, if I remember. Mm-hmm. I personally didn't have the diamond, so I don't have anything to go on. I know, I know. So, but the vanilla note is really that's what's like trying to push me towards that, thinking it's a wild turkey because that diamond is like stupid vanilla. 
Liquor mm. boy, can we have a dump glass? It can be, it, it, it can be dirty. There's a couple. Can of I? That is I is it? Is it like evident which one you did? This... If I were to walk by there and survey all of them, is it evident which one you poured? I'm assuming he's going from it is, one way yeah. to the Man, other. Man, I. I, I wish, you know, you wish you could see just the selection. I, just, I should take a, bit of a picture of our options. I just I, want you to let me know if there's something that's, like, expensive that you don't want us to dump. And or just please give a smaller price. I don't want to know that. Yeah, I don't want to know that because then it, yeah. you know, it gives it away. And, I guess that's and it, true. And then it doesn't, if it's not, if it's expensive, but it's dump worthy, it's you, disappointing. It's disappointing. It, it passes the test. I, I'm going to change that's my thought of Irish. I don't think this is Irish. This is too different from my memory of that irish to be it so i'm not 100 percent sure on what my second option is going to be but i do i'm i'm leaning more towards it being diamonds oh thank you unfortunately mm-hmm. i'm me. just i'm just gonna call it the trifecta i don't i don't remember having a trifecta. Do you remember that i don't remember it at all i don't no, i don't remember all. if i th- i think i shared it with you guys we had it on an episode I i'm thought. almost positive we did i just don't know what we had yeah um, so let's rate it before we reveal, like we did last time. Uh, Carter, do you want to start? Sure. I will give this, uh, give it a six and a half. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give it 6.2, slightly lower. It, I like it, but it's, it's got some weird grainy notes to me. Whatever it is, it's definitely better than the first time we've had it, though. Unless it's the diamonds, which you've not had. True. But. I'm going to say six. This is an improvement over the the last one. Okay. Liquor Boy, reveal that bottle. Oh, man, oh, it, was. it was. what? My instincts Waterford. at first were right. No. Waterford. No way. Man, this is really good, actually. How much is that bottle? Um, 80 to 100, I 80 forget. 100. Irish. Edition, that was edition 1.1. That's drastically better than I remember it being. Man, I, I should have... Gone with it. A stupid diamond is just in my head now. Mm-hmm. And it's going to continue to be there until we come to you it. Know why? You played yourself. Because diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever. What's the proof on that? 50? 50 Straight up? Yep. All right. Dang, I should have gone with my instinct. I said it was hotter than 45, but mm-hmm. I just wanted to believe it was a diamond. I believe. You just got to believe. Stupid. Well, if that's not trifecta, then I'm definitely going to be disappointed by that. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell you that. I enjoyed that way more. That was good. Yeah, well, Woodf- uh, Waterford Edition 1.1. 1. 1. Bang up job. Stuff. That was way better. We did not like that mm-hmm. one. I remember it being just and what, bad. And what did we ha- what did we have back to back with that? Um, that one I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, that's, Jameson. A, that's, I, a, that's the simple problem with our our podcasting format that we're currently doing is we got to knock some out. Yeah, and it, it messes with the flavors. Well, I tried to go back and actually listen back to what we said about this and i only mm-hmm. got to one of one or two of them and that one's coming up but i, I yeah i don't remember what we, exactly what we said about the waterford nor did do i remember what we also did in that review with it but, plus uh, i think that was when we were doing like one or two episodes at a time probably like more than one episode so, so. while he's doing that before we try this next one carter um looking back at the last 49 episodes what has been some things that you've enjoyed um, or look back on or some of your favorite things? Uh, I would say probably some of my favorite things have been the episodes where we, like kind of those special episodes where we've gone in on a few bottles together mm-hmm. and we've just like, you know, spent a little bit more money than you probably should on yeah. a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Uh, which may or may not have paid off sometimes. It's, it's like you're referring to like the the Berkeley or something. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, I know those just are kind of those are just fun. They're kind of special. Yeah. Just because it's like that's something that's we all had a part in, and you know it was they're they're a nice bottle that you can just kind of you don't drink it all the time, but when you do, you know it's uh, at least going to be pretty decent. And that's just something that I've uh, definitely enjoyed. Also, the blinding the blinds have been really fun too. Those are, I wish that my uh, palette was a little bit more refined, a little bit better at identifying those uh, distillery specific notes and that sort of stuff. So, I I would love to go back and somehow be able to objectively figure out how much our or 
our tasting has proved because that's something I've noticed for you guys is like I feel like it's it's made a, an improvement. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah, over the time that we've had. But yep. uh, I'm gonna continue to say we need flavor charts. We need a flavor wheel. That'll be episode 100. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I, I just I'm looking back. I'm trying to find the water for an episode, and I found the Brooklady episode. <laughs> this is the 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 quick description that Uh-oh. that we put. Oh no. Not much to say, but wow. This expression for Buclati is really something special. The eighth edition in the series. This 26-year-old unpeated whiskey was put into its cask, and you know, you just talk about what it is. But we're I like, think I pulled that just, from the description of their website. Yeah, but, just, <laughs> but just right away. Not much to say, but wow. But wow. And we're like, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we wasted our money. Wow, crap. Well, that was like $600. No, three twenty. Okay, it was it was expensive. No, it was $500. Like five. It was 500 bucks. Which one was the bottle that we spent like 600 bucks on? I don't Was there a different we bottle that we have spent? one that's more no. expensive than that? Unless you're like predicting the future or something. I might be. <laughs> you know what I do want now? After talking about expensive whiskey, thirty year old Lafroig. Well, yeah, of course. Always. Always. Okay. But <laughs> I uh, want some Trayvon. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, I finished that bottle a little bit ago. Dang. That's almost worth going out and spending three hundred dollars on. Oh, I, yeah, that's it's, one. It's like I know what I'm gonna get, and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. That's like, so I've been wanting to get the twenty five year old Ardbeg. The problem is it's eight hundred dollars. The other thing is, I've had now. You know, you and I had well, the three of us had either a thirty or thirty two old Lafroy. It was a thirty at that last year's tasting. Mm-hmm. Um, it was good. But it wasn't as good as just a normal Lafroy, let alone like some special Cardia's edition. It was just like a slap. It was a mellow dumpster fire. Right. Which, which was weird. Which we knew that I mean, like, you know, the older it gets, the more well rounded and you know, the the analogy uh the edges get sanded off and it becomes a smooth skipping stone. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what time does. Time is like a river. <laughs> um but Man, we're uh philosophical oh yeah we're getting, God. we're getting deep in but uh i i so i'm hesitant obviously to buy a 25 year art bag for multiple reasons but age is a big thing like mm-hmm. but i think that 19 to young 20 it's a good spot i think that's a good spot but you know we just had that bricolati 26 the complexity is it's got complexity but it's not challenging no it's not like and the Trayvon mean, where it's like still really peppery and like yeah peaty and i guess i mean i mean challenging in the way it's like it's aggressively flavorful mm-hmm. and not um friendly that it takes time to search through the flavors and pick out you know nuances we prefer that aggress- aggressive challenge. Like you can pick out flavors exactly when you drink it. It's just like boom, 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 yep. boom. It like, you know, slaps you around and calls you handsome. <laughs> but it's just like you're not <laughs> sure if you're assaulted. <laughs> but it compliments you. So you're like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I should feel about this. I'm not sure how I should feel. But I kind, I kind of like it. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna st- stop it. <laughs> um. So yeah. So yeah, the trade bond was really good. All right, this next whiskey. And I, just, I can't find the episode we did the Waterford, so Man. it's disappointing. This yeah. is uh, not a lot of nose. Oh, it mm. smells like a diaper. <laughs> oh, that's rough. I mean, yeah, like dirty, like dirt, meth, like uh, manure ish. Honestly, I, I don't know why that's a so predominant but it's it literally smells kind of poopy so jay carver right away i'm just like yep it's from waconia this is smells like manure jay carver it smells i i don't have much on the nose but it does smell older than what i would assume the jay carver is i, I think, think the, the jay, jay carver, carver is, is four s- i thought it was seven no they just the released new, a seven. the new one seven i think the this single malt is four, four to five four to five yeah um this one tastes more developed than what I remember the Jay Carver being. So for that reason, on the nose, I'm not going to say it's Jay Carver. I'm trying to remember what we even have in the lineup, and it's just like it's killing me. Oh my goodness, this is cherry. It's cherry bomb. 
Yeah, definitely not Jay Carver. Most definitely not Jay Carver. This is older than... Do you throw Blanton's in here? Oh. <laughs> That's definitely not Blanton's. It's, Blanton's is not it's as... too cherry. Um, mm-hmm. Defined as that. Mm-hmm. This is 45 or less. Yeah, low proof. Crap. Bourbon. What's even in there? It's a bourbon. I mean, obviously, I want to say diamonds, but now at this point, it's just a game with myself mm-hmm. that I'm like, again, psychosomatic. But that does kind of taste like turkey. It's older. It's cherry. It's a bourbon. Wild turkey diamonds. It could be done. I, I, honestly, other than that, I can't think of any other bourbon that's in there. I'm sticking with diamonds. Because have, I'm going like, to diamond. What? Do we have any rye options in here? I don't think so. Wild turkey is a high rye. No. Because you brought no, no. you brought the two Ard bag, right? Yes. Okay. And it was the Ard bag no. and ten. 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 And you brought the black art. Uh that's all I can remember. Wait a minute. Hang on. No. Hang on, hang on. He I don't think he put that in there as a ringer. I don't think he put anything extra in there. There was a moment I'm like, I wonder if you put the the Yellowstone in there as a ringer, even though it's technically not part of the episode. It doesn't, I don't think he is, though. It that, doesn't taste like Yellowstone. No, because that, that has uh, a wine finish to it. Mm-hmm. It's not on this. No. I think the di- the diamonds is still... Um, but stuff that I brought, I brought... I'm trying to remember. So I brought the... Because you have Blackheart. Blackheart, the Irish. Irish. The Oregon Spirits oh. malt whiskey. Yep. The man, I brought six. Oh, the um, Basil Hayden's toasted. toasted. This is not Basil. The Hayden's. Elijah Craig toasted. Liquor boy, can you take a picture and send it to us of what everything we have, or is that not really opportune? Oh, is it kind of laid out do wrong? Do you want to know that? Uh, yeah, because I can't even think of what we have. That's the problem. Is I that don't it, think this is toasted barrel. I don't think it's a toasted barrel because it doesn't have that like. But it's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah, just te- text us the names in no specific order, please. Um, because you had Basil Hayden's. It's not Basil. Black Art. It's not the yeah. uh, Oregon Spirits. It's either between the Diamonds or the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. I don't remember Toasted Barrel tasting. I, I like recently this. had the Toasted Barrel, and I don't. It doesn't taste like this. Because Toasted Barrel, I thought was. But a this little bottle bit has been open for a while. Eighty percent mm-hmm. empty. And been open for two years. No, so the toasted barrel yeah. has almost, it doesn't... almost no flavor. It's so subdued and empty. And this actually is spiky. And this has more cherry note than I remember Elijah Craig or Heaven Hill having. So that for that reason, I'm leaning towards turkey. Uh, yeah, turkey. The turkey would make sense with the flavor profile that it has. Yeah. It does have vanilla on this, but I I don't remember the diamonds having so much cherry forward note. But it's possible it got drowned up because it was all turkey all day. Mm-hmm. Um, let's do unless you guys have more to add. Let's do a rating, um, and then just go from there. So um, I'm gonna do this as a six and a half. Wow, that's high. Six and a half. I was gonna say four and a half or five. I was really? gonna, yeah. I was gonna agree with not, that. Not even close to. Uh, it's just not what I prefer. It's just not. I think it's the diamonds. I forget what I rated it on the last one, but I think we all rated the diamonds between five and six. Pretty sure. Okay. Good lord, this is weird. Um, the list. So you, you guys, you guys said what? I'm sorry. I didn't make it. A selection. Okay. So this, this, this is what's left. This is a flavor wheel. Below that. <laughs> he texted us a flavor wheel like 10 minutes ago. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jefferson's. Yeah, this is. This I don't is think it's Jefferson's. No, it, this is turkey. Yeah, it's probably turkey. Okay. Here's the problem is that makes it too easy. I'm not going to look at it. Yep, I'm looking at this every time. I'm not going to. 
Well, the problem is, is that it's like it's already there. We know it's there. No, we, we just don't. don't. I don't. I can't. We, I can't think of we it. We literally couldn't remember what I brought. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it's like, but we know what we should. We literally couldn't have. remember what we brought. Yeah, we couldn't remember. I need this. I I'm using too. it. All right, and I'm gonna also say diamond. Okay. What What was your rating again? I'm sorry. <sighs> I said it was a four and a half, maybe a five. Carter, I'll give it a five. I'll give it just half and half. Liquor boy, show that bottle. Jefferson's wow, ocean. Wow, what? That does not... Wait, is that finished? Yeah. Sauterne. That makes sense. That's where the cherry's coming from. Sauterne? What's Sauterne? I didn't think Sauterne was a... I feel like it's getting something from that wine finish. Well, I mean, it is, but I don't think... I thought Sauterne was... Uh... It's actually... You know, how, I... do you, how do you spell Sauterne? Oh, Saturn A. Saturn A. I thought it was Saturn. Saturn with a with a silent E S. Saturn A. Do a Google pronounce. Okay. Way better than I remember. That was the last one of the day too. Hmm. I wonder if that was part of the Woodf- the Waterford episode actually. It might have been. That was like one hundred twenty bucks too. Yeah, it was expensive. I remember when you bought that. So turns, it's so turns, so turns. So so sa turns is what they yeah, mean. Yeah, so turns. So turns. Is there a British where they don't? So turns. So it has the es. But it's so turns. So turn. Sa turn. So it's just a Texas thing. I was like, it's... <laughs> you got illiterate people well, saying so French turn. words. <laughs> you know that I watched tons of the the, oh, yeah. the text the whiskey vault. Yep. And they're Texan, and they, yep. they, they've admitted that the pronunciation is not 100%, and neither no. is ours. No, it's not. So it's I correct. am sticking to Sauterne. Sauterne! And the Wild Turkey Diamond misleads me again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one's a little darker. It's a sweet white wine. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, it is a white wine. So. It's a white wine. Weird. Okay. Wild Turkey Diamonds. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. It's it's a bourbon again. Mm-hmm. It is a bourbon. It's got to it's it corny. It's a 50/50 shot now, I guess. Well, it's a 6 it's a 33% cuz we got It's not Jay Carver. I'll... No, no, no. That's not a that's not a bourbon. That's an a malt whiskey. Oh, that's right. Okay. Cuz we've got Toasted Barrel, Elijah Craig Toasted, Basil Hayden Toasted, it's not, and It's not Basil. And there's the Diamond. And that's all that's left for bourbon. That, my friend, is not Basil Hayden's. Most definitely not Basil Hayden. Diamond. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Basil. No. no. This this is either the Elijah Craig or the Diamonds. <sighs> it is 100% without a doubt a bourbon. I don't remember the Elijah Craig tasting like that. Oh, what, what's Oregon Spirits? What's that? That's it's a malt, a malt whiskey. whiskey. But before they did the American definition or re-updated that, so mm-hmm. that was a blend of malt and a different grain. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it is it is more toasty than the Jefferson's. Like it's got a little bit more oak impact, a little bit marshmallow, yeah. vanilla. <clears throat> this is how I remember the. This isn't actually how the the new bottle that I bought tastes at all. Remotely close. Well, my dad, my dad bought it. Well, because this was the original, right? Right when and it came it's out, it's been mellowing it out, and it's got. I was just describing this. I said the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel is subdued and has no flavor. That's this. This is subdued and has no flavor. I kind of see that. But so was kind of the diamonds, though. Yeah, but that one, I can I I remember that one having a premium finish. Like, I feel that like one, that, has that a, one it was long lasting. It's got a wild turkey charm to it that this does not have. I don't mean. I mean, I wouldn't put emotion into it. You know, wild turkey charm. Charm. But yeah, I, I'll say it's Elijah Craig toasted. And I'll give. So it, what Dylan is saying, a uh, diamond. Man. Yeah. I want to say diamond again, but I I don't know. 
It's been so long since I had mm-hmm. Elijah Craig that Same. I have. No. I'm gonna say it's one of the toasteds because it kind of has this like charcoal filter. It tastes, it tastes like a Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> Got to choose one of the I'm, other. I, I'll stick with Elijah. I think I'm gonna go to Elijah Craig toasted. To be the outlier, I'm gonna go Basil Hayden. <clears throat> Liquor boy smiles. He smirks because it's the diamond. Yeah. No, I... show that bottle. Yep. Okay, good. It is the Elijah Craig yeah. Toasted Barrel. Oh, it's mostly and, empty. Yeah, and I was going to say, I was. This, my review has not changed. We didn't actually give a review on that one. No, no we no, were I was just gonna like. Say, my review, but my review has not changed. Three out of ten. I, I was going to say that before. I'll give Three it a, out of ten. That I'll, was bad. I'll give it a that was, it four has no, and a half. No, no. I thought it was a five. Are you serious? It has no flavor, no character you, at all. What are you talking about? It's just, It's not disgusting. It's bad. I don't think it's bad. It is bad. No, no, no. Because bad is the that. That Basil Hayden toasted. Yeah, bad is the Basil that Hayden. That Basil toast. Hayden. That's right. gross. Last well, time we had that watch. Basil Hayden, I went on a rant about Basil yeah. Hayden. Well, watch as... that have better flavors than this. It won't. That All... by no means was worth the money. Mm-hmm. No, not worth eighty but bucks. It was actually slightly better than I remember yeah. because when we first did the crack, it had like weird notes to it. It tasted mm-hmm. weird. Yeah, that I remember tasted. That was better. Than what I remember it tasting like. Yeah, I don't think it warrants a, fr- a three, though. I think it does. No, that's a three out of ten. It's bad. It's not. It's not worth anyone's time. Come on, Lance. No, the one we bought's better. Really? Three times as good. How? Because it has. It tastes like graham crackers and marshmallows. The one your dad bought? Yes, for realsies. So it's. It tastes like it should. Yeah. I wonder if they redid the blend. Oop. Mmm. This tastes. This smells malty. It smells funky. Doesn't smell like Basil Hayden. Organ spirits. We still have two scotches. It's young. It's got sap to it. Mmm. Yeah, it does have a very syrupy, sticky sweetness. The same sweetness that the uh, the Black Arts had. Oh, that, my. That do. Gosh, that's water. Yeah. Oh, man, it's, it just smells rough. That can't be that. What? <laughs> Is that the Basil Hayden's? Don't tell me. I just wanted to yell at you. Oh. So I don't know what this is. It's like got it does have nuttiness to it. Here's the thing: this tastes like water. The only thing that is forty percent is Basil mm-hmm. Hayden's. Mm-hmm. It tastes like feet. It is watered down. It tastes really bad. This is ass. <laughs> I actually <laughs> like I like this one better. Than I, the last I one. hate uh, this. I like this no, better. This, this it, is way this worse is so than Elijah Craig. No, give me give me another glass with the the toasted barrel and the, <laughs> the Elijah Craig. Give him the bottle. Yeah, no, this is way. This is so much worse. This no. is bo- this, this is borderline swell. What are you talking about? This has very great delicacy. No, it does not. <laughs> yes, it does. It's because we it's because we started at fifty five percent. We went down to forty. This happens literally every episode. Oh, it tastes like proof. prunes. We drop proof, and you guys lose it because you don't understand. <laughs> We're just not big brain enough. Dude, it literally tastes mm. like prunes or like a weird dried fruit. Yeah, dried fruit. That's great. That's so, that's exactly right. I just don't like it. This, this is, is like, terrible. Well, that that Tuck initial that initial flavor got, like, that oh. I got was bad. Mm-hmm. The aftertaste, good. Yep. I, I thought that the second one, the or the what we think is a Basil Hayden's, is it's super one dimensional. Like it's it just has no complexity. I think this is the Oregon spirit. I. It tastes like a young mm. whiskey. That's a. It's not. No. 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 Zach's wrong. No, I am a hundred percent right. No, he's this not. tastes like feet. No, I feel like I'm being in comparison. It does not. It does. This is terrible. That tastes weird. It's not great. It's not great. Neither of them are great. This is a two. Yeah. For me. Yeah, I'll give that a two. Two and a half. I'll give it a three and a half. Where did my glass go? 
Actually, I want to rinse Can out. I, rin- I need to rinse my yeah. out. Like I don't want toasted barrel in my in okay. my glass. Hmm? Oh, you're rinsing. Thank Give you. it a good shake, please. Oh, that's so much better. That toast is so much better, Zach. That's just our personal opinions, but that we're right. No, I'm gonna edit Zach. So I'm gonna this do- bourbon is yeah. great. <laughs> we should go. Um, what, 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 we need to rate it, and we need to guess. Okay, I'm giving that two point five. Two, three and a half. What is it though? I I, I think it's Oregon Spirit. I I I, I don't completely disagree, but I gotta go with Basil Hayden's because of the forty yeah. percent. There's it's been very low. there's been Super so low. many whiskeys that I've tried that are young and they taste like butt cheeks. Oh no, I completely agree. But I'm. I gotta believe it's forty percent. Mm-hmm. That that Oregon Spirits is forty three, and I felt like it had more character than than that. But yeah, Zach's gonna give it an eight. No, three and a half. I, I, I just said three and a half. Oh. It's it's better. They're both not good. It's better though than Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Sorry to say it, it's true. Liquor boy, reveal that bottle. Hey! Oh, it okay, it's Oregon some whiskey. Yeah. I got one. It is not. It good. is not good. That's five years old. <laughs> that is not good. That's like the uh, Kings County stuff that I have. Yeah, from New York. Kings County was not. That's that was one we should have done. That's. Oh, dang it! Why didn't we think about that? That stuff is. We can still have it. That stuff is have, rough. You have the bottle. Yeah, it's somewhere yeah, it here. Just, it just won't be blinded. The episode is about disappointing whiskeys. Do you want to go get it? I don't know. I think it's oh hey, and it's down it. here. Yeah. That what was it? Eighty dollars we found it was, or a hundred or something. It was a gift. I know. Yeah. We talked about this last time. I know. I'm sorry. This Lance. goes so much back. Like, ah. So, I guess you know. So we we talked about kind of what what our personal favorites was. I guess my personal favorite stuff that we've done is, I've really enjoyed like the twenty dollar, thirty dollar challenges that usually are done blind. We found some good stuff. Yeah, and we had some unsuspected. Victors, you know the thirty dollar challenges. Um, Who even won that? I don't remember. Technically, you did with the what did I? Win? That ten dollar whiskey or something. No, Earl Settler. The Earl Settler. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the Earl because yeah. I bought two bottles. Because yeah. that, I that's another that's another point where we where we disagreed because I, I I wasn't on that episode. But I went and bought it and thought it was the yeah, most you disgusting were, like, thing. You thought sick. it was gross. I thought it was the worst. What not? Actually, it wasn't the worst. It's one of the worst things I've ever tried. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. I do remember that because we were all like agreed. We were like, "This, this is." is... <laughs> I could smell it. You could smell. You could smell the beam. I can smell that. Basil Hayden's Ooh, has yeah. this. Like it's like you sat in a pile of hay, and, it, and you got rained on. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what it smells like. It smells like grain. Yeah, like no, like not just grain, but like wet, Grass? damp grain, like it's dry or like moist molding. It's mold. It. Basil Hayden smells like mold. This is like it. you tried to mow the grass when it's, and it's wet. raining, but it's like I gotta finish because no, this I is, can't do no, it. This is this is you slid on dog poop and you then you picked up your shoe and had to make sure it was dog poop and not mud. I think it's Ardbeg. No, no, it's not. No, Ardbeg smells sweet. We specifically told him to do the Ardbegs last, just because it would ruin everything else. Really? Yeah. We also, did. Those, those both of those smell good. The Ardbeg tastes bad. I think this me. smells like the hard bag. I get no pear, zero pear. I get maybe banana. maybe banana. I, I'll I'll agree on banana. I get like weird green banana, but I guess that's different than what it would necessarily be for the hard bag. Yeah, that is a green banana. It's very green banana, but I mean, like that doesn't mean that it is. It could just be a weird flavor that's from the basil Hayden's. It's hot. Oh, oh, oh my God! Uh, oh my God! What? The- it's disgusting. Oh my God! It's horrible. Uh, no, actually, I, I got try <laughs> time. Oh, it's the trifecta. It's trifecta. One hundred percent is trifecta. What the heck? <laughs> yep. I know. I know this is trifecta because this is the exact reaction I had when I bought it. Oh, <laughs> it is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Cause it it tastes like bad chocolate. What is this? I'm not this? even gonna. I'm, this <laughs> it I'm, tastes bad. No, I'm, not, I'm drinking this because it's so fun to drink. Because it's I've never tasted something so horrible. Yeah, 
in my life. This is this is Jay Carver <laughs> trifecta. I would I would stake my this life is on it. Exciting to drink because I've never tasted this flavor before. Oh it's like it's okay. You guys, you, okay, you guys have seen um, <laughs> the movie Holes. Yeah. And then they make the dad is a he's he's, he's an inventor, and he ends up using the peaches and whatever. Oh, he makes that juice. He makes the like juice dirt. for the sneakers. This is how I imagine that, that is supposed to be. Is this, this like, man is a, making jungle juice? This is this is like this is. <laughs> This is when you take your your work boot back in during prohibition times and you put it in the river of whiskey you and you it. die. You, you do drink it. it to death. <laughs> you do a shoey. You do a shoey. And then you die. And then you die. This is what was this is what they were drinking. This is we're living it right now. No, this is definitely a Jay Carver what, trifecta. What was the trifecta? The difference between the uh, trifecta and the on was it the on it wasn't the Mm-mm. encore, it was like the um uh Exquisite, something like that. But what was the difference? It was a wood finishing, wasn't it, on the trifecta? E- I think so. I honestly don't remember because I opened it, had like two glasses, thought it was hot garbage, and then just never touched it. And it was like a hundred dollar bottle. It's like if you brewed the darkest, bitterest coffee. And you threw the coffee yeah, away and you, and you ate, ate the grounds. grounds. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like coffee grounds. Yep. This is a certified IGN 10 out of 10. I mean, this, <laughs> this is, is a this is the IGN would do again. Yeah. Oh my yeah. sweet lord. That assaulted my mouth. I don't know what this is. It's trifecto. It's yeah, it kind of has to be. I'm just gonna I'm gonna say um Basil Hayden's just to be different. Just to be different. And that I can maybe maybe be right. All right, so we gotta rate this. Uh, Carter, doing. rate this. I'm giving that a one point five. Um, I what did I give the the malt whiskey? Can you, dump, you gave dump the that, other, that was a two point five. Oh yeah, th- this is a yep. uh, a one point or a two. This is a one point five. I'm trying to remember. We did the yeah thirty dollars. Maybe two. It's a two. We be- did we did the thirty dollars scotch challenge. No, we have not yet. We yes, done we the did. twenty dollars scotch. Oh, challenge. you're right. We need and to. I gave three of the four of those like a one out of ten. This is worse than all of those, from my memory. Yeah. So I'm literally giving this a, ha- a, a seven, three quarters of a point. It'll get you drunk. It's, it's so plus not this is ninety dollars. If this is the trifecta, it was like ninety. Bucks. I'm almost 100% positive that this is the trifecta. Yeah. Because I remember feeling like it that. It could be Kings County. It might be the Kings County. He wouldn't have thrown that in right away. Uh, it's, not right, it's not right away no more. Oh, the one. Yeah, okay. I see what you All right, liquor boy. Show that bottle. Hold on one second. Mm-hmm. That's right. You go back. You see that maroon label? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, knew it. I knew it. That trifecta. chocolate. Can you bring that bottle here? I want to figure out what the trifecta was. I want was. to throw that in the garbage. <laughs> that would be such a good audio clip just to hear it shatter. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. No, just throw it against the brick wall. Oh. I'm so sad by that. That first initial pour it was is a, so... It is visceral. Assaulted. It Salting. is visceral. Oh my goodness. Aged more than four years in new and reused oak barrels, distilled and bottled. Distilled from grain. It doesn't even yeah, say the reused the oak used to be like wood flooring from someone's house. Yeah, and they, they store made... like... Um, it was someone's toilet. Yep. Wood stain in the barrel. Yep. And then they, they put whiskey in it. So this is uh, uh, made with three different malts aged in oak barrels from three family-owned cooperages in Minnesota. Trifecta is truly distinct whiskey. Ah, uh, Yeah. Um, okay, they're right. Incredibly they're right. smooth. Not smooth. And sweet. Not sweet. Trifecta uh, offers flavors of dried orange peel, spices, honey, and dark fruit with a hint of vanilla and dark chocolate. I mean, the dark chocolate. I mean, they're yeah. technically not wrong with their flavor profile. No, they're technically wrong. Yep. Just this is some of fifty-eight point eight five percent alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that was that, yeah, that was like is, a ninety to a hundred and ten dollar bottle. Yeah, that is the definition of it'll get you drunk. Mm-hmm. Like, that's great. That's hardcore malt liquor. That's Uncle Jemima's right. That there. is Uncle Jemima's Uncle Jemima malt was liquor. A real thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. Oh, you goodness! That was bad. It's diamonds. <laughs> it smells like another disappointing bourbon. It smells like disappointment. Smells like my son. 
I just realized your sweatshirt. I have a sock, a pair of socks that are the exact same trout patterns, <laughs> but they're socks. Did you buy it from Kavu? No. No, I don't remember. I think I bought mine from like some outdoor shop. I mean, I bought this at in uh, Duluth. No, I bought mine in Ely, actually. I bought this in Duluth Duluth Pack Company. Oh. The company name is Kavu that makes this. Oh, then maybe. It might be then. Anyways. It's a good sweater. I like my trout. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're uh, along the lines of bourbon again. Uh, okay, so we got diamonds and we got basil hayden. I, and we have Kings County. Now. I have said this once. I've said it a thousand times. I don't. I am not good at getting scent off the nose for bourbons. No. They all smell the same. And that's how I know it's bourbon. It does smell a little beamy if I went out on a limb. I would agree. I would agree. It smells kind of grapey. But it's like nutty, like the Jim Beam profile. I'm going to taste it. Let's taste it. Mm. This is Jim Beam toasted. Yeah. It's Basil Hayden's. It's so lackluster. So lackluster. <sighs> Ooh, wow. This is actually way better than the last two, though. It tastes like peanut, to it say. Tastes like peanut shells. Like, not the peanut itself. It's the shell. Made the side of my mouth go numb. I don't think that's the flavor, though. I think you just took too big of a sip. Or the side of my tongue. That's the rat poison. That's the mm. arsenic. Carcinogen. Mm, carcinogen you must have. Um, This is definitely better than the last two. But I'm actually, I'm actually quite happy for this after those last two, which I thought I would never say for a Basil Hayden's Toasted. It's definitely better than the last two. But it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's Basil Hayden. But it's bad because I'm looking right at the flavor wheel, trying to decide the flavors that this is. It's not on there. <laughs> it's not on the it's wheel of flavors. On, dude, it tastes like gym socks. <laughs> it doesn't taste like... No, it doesn't have any of that, like... The funk? Funk. No, I don't get no funk. And I also don't get no... Uh, what does a gym sock taste like? Mold. I don't, I don't get no grain or... There's no floralness. Jim socks are floral. I guess you kind of make. There's it kinda, no floralness in this. Yeah, this that, is dusty and moldy. To and me, yeah. To me, this is like it's, it's that kinda, dusty it's peanut it's shell, musty. But they drizzle a little bit of honey onto it, but not enough to be like, oh, there's honey. Just enough where like the dust clumps together on the outside, and it's like absorbs all the moisture. Of the uh-huh. honey, so the honey's not really honey anymore. It's just like a sawdusty. It's like a paste. blob paste. Mm. Yeah, but it's that. Yum. Yep. All right, I have I have a review. I have, I have a number. Four out of ten. Is it Give four? it a thirty point five. What? Three point five. Oh, I th- okay. He said three, and then the. I said mouth. a three. <laughs> I'd give it a. Yeah, I, I'd give it a four. I think this is half. It had the same one dimensionality as the uh, Oregon Spirits, but just actually tasted like you know I would something s- good. Somehow, I still feel better buying the Oregon Spirits than this Basil Hayden. You're supporting though. supporting future endeavors of someone. It's a cooler story. Mm-hmm. You know that Oregon Spirits. Like I went to Oregon Spirits. I bought the bottle. Yeah, I well, get we to don't, talk. Well, we don't know what this is. We don't know what this That's is. That's true. But still, it's Basil Hayden's, right? R- show that bottle, liquor boy. Move that bus. Yep. Yeah. It's Basil Hayden's. Basil Hayden's toasted barrel. Boo. It's like kind yeah, of the only is, bad Jim Beam product. Is as I remember. Why wouldn't you just? You know what I bought today that I would wait. I should have brought it for a comparison. Old Granddad, forty percent. The regular we one. have the one. Oh no, I was gonna say we have the that one. Line. It's twenty five dollars for a liter, and it's the primary thing I use in. Well, Cocktails. right now, no, just co- whiskey cokes. 
you know, because it's... I do actually like the nuttiness of, like, the Evan Williams, the Jim Beam products and stuff in Coke for some reason. Really like it. Um, and then for 25 bucks to get a liter. Yeah. And I don't need a 50% whiskey in a Jim or a whiskey Coke, so, you yeah. know. It'll get you drunk. Yeah. I, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. regularly regularly use old granddad 114 for oh, the anything yeah. literally whatever mix it great drink it straight great cocktails great it's, it's never bad i'm just regretting that trifecta buy so much now hey we all buy yeah. things we regret yeah. well, oh I, I do things i regret where i so like so I'm, I on the way I, I say things i went on our on our way to one of the podcasts at his old place um, I was at the Quick Trip mm-hmm. in New Prague, New... and I just opened the door, the hatch to my car, and oh, then yeah. all my whiskey oh, fell out, frick. and then it was what? two bottles that broke, and the only one I, I actually, the the ones I really cared for were fine, like the Octomore was in there, and, hmm. I got, and it was a bunch of other ones, but the one that broke, that was pretty much 95% full, and I wish it didn't break, was the uh, second nick offerman log oh, which, oh no you know i could have bought another one I, it's, it's not like i never saw it again the guinness? Mm-hmm. the guinness cask one i think we yep. can find those still yeah they're around i'm okay. sure and i was just like but it was like i spent 90 bucks on it yeah and that's how much they were that's not like i spent too much but when you lose that much of it you're just so I, sad. I was so just saddened i'm like you know i'm just not gonna have it again you know like i, I mean i will i probably will but i'm going i don't home. i don't need to buy that again because it's, it's just gonna remind me of the one that i lost because yeah. then i really because then i really spent 180 dollars on yeah. a guinness cask of nick offerman log so i'm just i'm just not going to subject myself to that mental torture yeah so those are the things that i regret those those scotch trials <laughs> that that's what I'm assuming that was from. That would have been yes. from the scotch. Yeah, it would have yeah, been. Yeah, those are brutal. We had like forty whiskeys. Was it forty? Something like that. Thirty-two. Yeah, those were fifty-two. How do you know? Oh, you, oh, you poured them all? all? Oh my goodness. Yeah, those were bad episodes. Those are dangerous. Well, the first two are actually really good. Maybe we'll re- maybe maybe we'll just release them with a really ambiguous just ending. A really big, cliffhanger. really cliff. Yeah. Like you'll never get a part bottles. three. Yeah. Because that was one that Brooklyn brought, his, or not, he didn't bring it. He actually had Dawson stole, steal it, and then he agreed to try it on the podcast, the um, 2049 Blade Runner. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. So we killed that bottle on that episode. Yeah. And then never aired it. Yeah. That was, but, a, that was a good oh, episode. That was amazing. Yeah. That was fun. We, I, we need to take a day and... I think we need to plan it, set it, maybe for like, you know, we kind of have like those anniversary ep- ones in February where we would like do something special. I think this is where we got the Ber- uh, Bercolati for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like it was January, February, and we did that. Mm-hmm. So we're coming up on technically two years since we started recording. So maybe that's when we do like we do it on like a Friday night or something or a Saturday and then we just take the next day off. And we do invite some people over and just kind of have like a good time doing something, but something we can kind of control more. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, this is diamonds. <laughs> See that or Kings County? Don't taste like, don't smell like King County. It is a bourbon. Yeah, it's a bourbon. Mm. This is diamonds. I remember this. This this is, it's got a it's got a turkey taste to it. No, I mean it, yes, but I mean this just it has that same. It's this, the the diamond. They I feel like they named it because of the smooth adjective of this whiskey. It's so long lasting, smooth, and <laughs> smooth operator. Oh. It's long lasting and it's really. It's actually it's fine. I don't think it's actually even like that great, but it's it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's this is a million times better than what we've had for the past four or five. So I'm just happy that we're not drinking trash. Yeah, this is very. Well, at least I feel I feel like this is very obviously a Kentucky bourbon. So obviously either Jefferson's or the Wild Turkey. 
Jeffersons we already had. Exactly. So it's, it's wild turkey. I feel like it's gotta be wild turkey. Yes, Evan Williams is Kentucky, but it's not the same. <sighs> Diamonds are forever. Diamondium uh, rating. Yeah, I am. I like this less than the Jeffersons. Really? Yeah. The I Jeffersons have... had a really pronounced cherry note. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is mostly vanilla. Yeah. I I'm gonna give this a five point seven. I think that's what you gave the diamonds on your. No, I thought it was a six and a. It was it? I, I it was, we were all between. Look your five, boy, did you we were all scoring? between. We were all between five and six. I'm pretty sure that was true. And if this is diamonds, but we're blinded, so this is ambiguously answered. This is a five. That's what you guys don't know is I close my eyes for these, mm-hmm. so we're <gasps> blinded truly. Oh. Yep. Give it a five and a. Uh, five and a quarter. Hmm. It's good. It's boring. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of simple. I gave, I gave, what was the second one we had today? Tonight. The Waterford. I gave that one like a five and a half or a six. Yeah. This is less than that. Five. This is a five. I stick with my 5.25. Mm-hmm. Dak, have you had the, we haven't had on the episode, but I went over here to record once and I think we were waiting for you, but. Um, Carter, let me try his Parker's Heritage, Heritage finished in orange curacao. Was it? No. You, you let me try that. Oh, you did? Yeah, you I did. was going to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you tried it. I did it. have that. I didn't. I don't remember it being spectacular, to my opinion. I thought it just tasted extremely citrusy. It's just yeah. really orange. And that's, that's about it. We'll have to do something on it. I actually, I heard it. It was referenced in a podcast that I was listening to, and apparently it's got... Um, Might be the butt end of like Parker's Heritage. People like refer to it as it's like it's one of the worst, maybe. Hmm. The orange curacao because it just tastes like, it tastes like an orange liqueur. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is which is curacao fun, but it's weird. That's, I think that's it's something fun. that we're gonna say wish happened with the art bag because it's finished in rye. It's got no like no rye elements to it. It's so. It's big stinky. Missing. Maybe. So, may, or maybe we'll come to the revelation that this is fantastic. And man, we were wrong all all along. Even though I've I've had this yeah. like six or seven times since that episode. Never, never changed my mind. Move that bus. Show me that bottle. We haven't had diamonds. it yet. No, oh. we're at, we're guessing on oh, the last right. one. Diamonds. Yay. It's diamonds. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Mid. Mid. But it. It's a cool bottle. It's yeah. cool. And it's smooth. Nice story. We, we, yeah, nice story. We said last time, after having the rest, that this was, it, it was meh, but it was worth it because you can't go wrong buying this. No. You're not going to hate it. For MSR. For MSR. Yeah. But that's that's actually, that's that's like most whiskeys now. Like, oh, I got this for MSR. It's a deal. <laughs> I got this for a steal. I Where paid, did you find this? I bought yeah. this for the original $120. Yeah, I paid regular amounts of money for this. I, I think I just stole it from the guy. Did you hear that? You hear that bottle pop? Oh. You hear that cork pop? So it sounded like it was kind of an empty bottle. What's um going forward, what is kind of something that you guys um think that we should do going forward? You want this on air? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. ASMR whiskey podcast episode. It's literally it's a compilation. Gregory. It's cork pops, Carter noises, <laughs> and sipping noises. And it's the whole episode. Well, that's that, what I want. That'll be its own spinoff podcast. <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, we have enough content for that. <laughs> well, we do have it. We probably have enough now where I can make it so, another video of just Carter. Mm-hmm. Carter uh, audio clips. King Kings County. Yeah. I don't think Zach has had this. No, I haven't. I actually really enjoy the way the smells. It has a great pickle vinegar vibe to it. It's young. Mm. And this, this is not a rye. Nope. Interesting. Definitely not a scotch. So it's I'm just, it's got to be Kings County. I just mean, it's just so grain forward. It's and better than I remember it being, though. It is. Um. It's it's got young 
grain forward notes. Mm. It is sweet, but also leads into spiciness in the end. I think letting it sit for a oh. little bit kind of pulled that young. The oakiness is. Pulled that like bad flavor out that I don't like. The oak really comes up on the end. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I actually don't dislike this. I like this a lot more than I used to. Yeah, I think I'd still I'd still give this a five though. Now I don't know what I gave it originally. But I could I could tell I could feel that this was really too strong when it was new, and I can tell it's been mellowed out because all these flavors are just duller versions of things you taste in really young grain forward whiskeys. So maybe that means that every time we buy something young, we just need to pour it in half bottles, let them sit for a while. Or just get rid of the neck pour, yeah, and then just leave it for a couple months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, this is. I actually kind of, I kind of like, kind of like this. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think it has. I wouldn't buy it again, mm-hmm. but I like it. How much does it cost? I think it was about eighty. Well, we don't know it's Kings County, but how much does Kings County cost? I think it's about 80. eighty. Yeah. Unfortunately, this was a gift. This right. bottle was a gift. Yep. Oh, this fortunately, is, it was a gift. Yeah, fortunately, this is definitely a no-no for eighty bucks, but. Yeah, I, five. I'd give it a five. Uh, better than I remember. Yeah, this is on par for different reasons as the diamonds. Uh, I also give it a five. This is right smack dab the middle of the scale. I will also give it a five. Because mm, that that actually has a really good aftertaste. Mm. It doesn't have a peppery spicy end it but it, it lingers it still lingers without the strength yeah so carter what what do you think going forward something that you would like us to do in an episode or just implement hmm so before he says anything we've we've upgraded our mics so you could hear his inhale through the nose in high definition we just want everyone to know that. <laughs> um, I want to try some weird stuff. Weird stuff. I don't know. Just like really, I mean, so, we, we've tried some, you know, kind of stranger whiskeys yeah. and other things on the podcast. I guess maybe. Like, I know you, you yourself have been getting it, like Dylan, have been getting into uh, rum a little bit. Right. Uh, and I know you are, I know we already did a rum episode. Mm. Um, I think just kind of uh, maybe branching out a little bit more into doing some of those a little bit more often, um, kind of different things, maybe doing like a cocktail, something here and there, or like kind of how we focused on the buffalo trace line like maybe what we'll do is we could do like a cocktail but only using a specific brand okay and going off of something like that or you know yeah something interesting like i don't know it's kind of off the top of my head that's good ideas i like those ideas yeah i i've always liked cocktail ideas mm -hmm. because that's i don't do a whole lot of cocktails no usually like I do enough. It gets but you like, to branch out. Yeah. It, gets, it gets you to branch out, try new cocktails. Because whenever I make a cocktail, I'm either strictly following a recipe that I know or, is good, or I'm just mixing garbage together. Yeah, just throwing it together and, I did and hoping it I did that. Good. I mixed. I run into the gym and I start throwing <laughs> garbage. <laughs> no, I, I bought – because I, I restocked my bar with just liqueurs in general. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I took to Cointreau. Oh, God. Excuse me, I took Diplomatico rum. Okay. I took Midori. What? Oh, this, is in a, this is a weird spot. And okay. vodka. That sounds gross. What? I put all those together. Why? Was it good? It was good for about two sips, and then it it was so strong. <laughs> I mean, it's all... There's no mixer. It's all liquor. It was all liquor because I ran out... I was trying to make... I was, I was going to make like a margarita but just in a tumbler glass okay didn't have so did you tequila. didn't have triple sec no i well, I used cointreau instead as my okay 
That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's the liqueur I choose to use for margaritas in my house. It's preferable anyway. Yeah. And so um, I didn't have good tequila. I have mezcal, but I only have smoky mezcals. And I made it. Oh, but a I, smoky tequila. A smoky it, margarita it, is it, bomb. No, it, it's not. Yeah. What? It doesn't taste right. No, it That's not what I want in a margarita. I don't want my margarita smoky at all. I want it to be completely citrus sweetness. Because if it's smoky, then I relate it too much to scotch. No, I was going to say like an old fashioned. Oh, okay. Because you're putting a strong. Cause, and then also, the tequila I usually use is anejos, which are that dark, sweet agave flavor, mm-hmm. which are sometimes smoky. Yep. But if I'm having a marg, a marg with young smoky mezcal that's a no-go that's a that's bad i can see a young i can see a young mezcal yep. an older mezcal i think would be yep. good so then i was like okay i don't have i don't have good tequila i still have the cointreau i can make the sweetness of the agave with midori this is let's this throw is, some this is lemon zach, liqueur this is zach brainstorming liqueur. what so I'm like, okay, well, if I took a melon liqueur and try to get that sweetness citrus you know citrusiness out of a melon liqueur and then I just spiked it a little bit with some vodka. That'd be better. You know, like that. I mean, that would like be fine. Mm-hmm. So I did that. It would do the job. It would do the job. No. <laughs> so you're never making that again? No, never, ever. What did you name it? Uh, I'll call it. I'll call it uh, the Green Goblin. Okay, sick. Because it was just so repulsive in every <laughs> way. <laughs> the, his the. <laughs> It, oh, you Spider Man, yeah. Spider Man, you can't do this to yeah, me. I mean, could you imagine running into the Green Goblin? I guess as a real person, you're like, oh my gosh, like you're get disgusting. away! I don't want anything to do. Well, leave the phone, no, <laughs> go away. It's so. like an incredible. It's like a really nasty, incredible Hulk shot. Yeah, yeah. So it would be. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Is my cocktails a recipe based or off the cuff? And I'm bad off the cuff. I'm I don't not. Make things off the I'm cuff not a mixologist, either. or whatever they call those people. That uh, whatever bartenders prefer to be called, I'm not one of those. Depends on uh, how snooty kind of, they are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It depends on how bougie you want to be. Yeah. that is something that we should revisit, though. Like we did that the the episode with. Uh, well, we did the cocktails. Where we I haven't all... made a dugarita in a while. I know. I want. I you know. I talked to Steve today about that, and I I kind of wanted a dugarita. I told him like. Steve, we need to make you do Greta. I forgot what the reason was, but uh, it came up in conversation. Because they're the best things ever. Oh, they were, it was supp- it was the best one that we did between um, your Negroni, my Negroni, martini. your your Martini, yeah, which was just vodka. Oh, I thought you gin. did a gin Martini. Yeah, it was both. It was both. Yeah, but it, it, it's just gin. The and vodka. Was so good. And yeah. and the, and then I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna do something real freaky, it and then out. watched like some. How to, the how to drink video about it. I mean, without that, we wouldn't have been able to do. It would have been no. different. No, yep. and I was, and then I kind of did it like mixed it up myself because I didn't nec- like I knew the basic proportions that he had in his drink, but then I kind of would just freehand it at some points, and I was like, "This is this is better." Want to bring out the next ones or? Oh, we got, did we vote? Did we? Yeah, we didn't. We didn't even. Yeah, it's um, Kings we... County, right? That's what we, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Kings County. Kings County. Now bring out the art bag. Sorry, liquor boy. We're just we're talking about com- completely. That's that's something I wish. This is my this is my goal for our podcast. Is we do shorter, more <laughs> concise episodes around for everything. I agree. We try that, and then it continues to end up being exactly. five minutes. I know, but. That's something that we have to try to be better at. But that's because we keep scheduling to do runs, you know, yeah. three, three maximum whiskeys per episode. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, probably. I three. think that's a good idea. And, um, and also, we just keep, you know, getting burnt out on flavor profiles, too. Oh, for sure. This is not a legitimate review by any means. Yeah. Like, anyone that's listening to this, <laughs> you're foolish to believe that this is legitimate yep. if we're having more than three. Only trust us on what we believe is, like, that's a, a, ten. A, a value, a good buy, and a general flavor. That's the 10. So You can trust anyone on that. I would like to, you know, looking back at some of our older episodes, um, I kind of want, like, your thoughts and also... Um, kind of where you think in the span of time when we did these episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, Zach, you were here for that one, uh, 
Carter, you are not. The uh, relaxing tea ceremony, yeah, the relaxing tea ceremony <laughs> that we did yeah. with Indy. Yeah. Um, that one was one of our longer ones that we did the first. Um, very memorable for me. Because of the Jack Daniels. Because of the Jack Daniels. <laughs> Does Indy have tea pets? Tea pets? Yeah, you know. Oh, the sto- with tea stones? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. Where you like, you're supposed to. It was like a Chinese. I don't know if it was Chinese or Japanese, but it's yeah. like you brew it once and then you pour it out onto like a tea stone and then you brew it again because then mm. the tea, like the flowers, have had time to bloom. Sure, yeah. So then you get more flavor and out of I it in the second steep. Yeah, she has lots of tea wear, but I don't. She doesn't have nothing like that. She just oh. has lots of fine china. You can get and... cute little tea pets and they're like turtles mm-hmm. or like. Um, like foxes and that kind of stuff. It's really, they're, yeah. they're fun. Um, but one, what episode number do you think that was? Okay. And two, kind of just your thoughts on that episode. Okay. I, I think I, I cheated because during the beginning of this episode, I was looking through. I'm trying to find the Waterford episode 14. No, I think the tea ceremony was like episode eight. It's like eight or nine. It was soon in our posting. Later in our doing. Sooner in our Sooner posting. posting. Um, it was episode seven. Seven. Okay. So I was wrong. And it wasn't eight or nine. It was seven. Even earlier. But even earlier. And I thought that was fun because, one, my sister got to be in it. And she is just great. Mm-hmm. And he's just kind of the best. If anyone, I've, like our entire family, we've always discussed, like, if, we're gonna, if, if one of us has to sacrifice our life to save someone... Who are we gonna save it for? I will sacrifice my life for Pakistan. <laughs> for Pakistan, it's you know it's Indy. You save in Indy's life is more important than pretty much all of ours. We're like our entire family would perish before we'd let Indy die. She's too innocent. Yep, I'll just end just the best of us. Let's be real. Like Indy's just the best. So with that episode, I the deviation from the the spirits was weird. You know, I'm so used to doing the spirits on the podcast. Um, but I remember the con- <laughs> some of the conclusions we came to in that episode were just how a- almost mind altering those teas can be. Because these, I th- I, we tried white white yeah. tea mm-hmm. and green tea, and it was at least four. Yeah, but we, I don't think we did chaga. I wanted to do chaga, but we didn't because that was one that I've had, and that's actually like mind altering. It's dope. You feel like dude. Well, I shouldn't say it's actually. It's not like you're high, but you just you dis you will literally disassociate. You just kind of stop thinking. I want that in my life, and it's really cool. Um, but we didn't do that, and then we, we ruined crack, and we yeah. <laughs> but then we ruined it by making the Jack Daniels honey. Oh, that was so fun. Though. It was fun. No, it was totally. Awesome. It was super fun. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ruined it. it ruined my palate. It ruined my night. I thought it was gross. It smelled amazing. It smelled really good and tasted, tasted like terrible. you. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, that. Um, it tasted like pee in a glass. It's like the anchor man where it's like it smells like you know Bigfoot's Bigfoot's or, junk. Yeah, or like Indian food in a baby's <laughs> diaper. <laughs> it just smelled burnt and sugary, and gross and bad. That sounds. Wait, that was. That was trying one. new drinks was that was a great idea. That one for me is something that I I think we, one we need to have your sister back on one. Um, she's T episode Redux. She can now have uh, alcohol and but also I do really want to do another T episode. I think we should have her on. And I want to do that chaga. Conduct yeah. that and then Carter can be on for that. I want my mind on. to go crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's not your mind doing things. It's the lack thereof. You just kind of. It's you, just you're so relaxed. You're yeah. so relaxed. Yes. And the chaga has these kinds of. Because it's mushroom tea. That's what chaga is. It's mushrooms. So. Yo, it is mind altering. Right. You just kind of. <laughs> you can't focus on anything. So you just kind of. You just kind of zone. Just kind of zone. That sounds great. And you just get lit. It's great. I bet that would like help you sleep. Oh, well. Well, no, because it's like it's like when you have too much to drink and you have the spins. Oh, so, so you're just kind of like so you don't get the spins, but you just kind of can't do anything. <laughs> your body is just you're frozen. Immo- in you're time. just immobilized. You're just like, mm-hmm. bah, whatever. It's like because you don't frozen you don't you don't care time. you don't care about anything. And yeah. You don't you don't like feel your senses as much. Everything's dull. You're just kind of like, you're just like yeah, I'm, I'm must, content with life. I yeah. must protect Beth because I am just 
a horse. It's <laughs> so Ardbeg 10. I think this is Ardbeg Ardbeg, actually. Nah. I haven't drank it yet. It's... I'm going to say I did smell the Ardbeg before. I don't, it don't smell like this. This is a very well uh, oxidized Ardbeg 10, then. Mm-hmm. Which it very well could be. No, this is the this is the ten. So this is, I propose a toast because we we have only two our bags. Uh, we don't reveal the first one. Yeah, we'll, we'll have both. We rate this we, one, yeah. and then we go to the second one. Yeah. So, um, this I just want to mention that this very well could be the same ten that. We tried during that podcast. No way. But you said that was my 10. That was your 10? In multiple episodes, it's been referred to oh, as my yeah. 10. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. It was your 10. Okay, never mind. But I've had this 10 for a very, very long time. And because I don't, I don't drink it because I like Wee Beastie better. Yeah. So I keep, I keep, said it. yeah, I said, it. I keep buying Wee Beastie and drinking it over yeah. this. What I, I've been doing is uh, Nick and I have been buying a bottle of Monkey Shoulder and a bottle of uh, a peated scotch mm-hmm. right now it's wee beastie um are you mixing them oh yeah it's like an 80 20 ratio of um monkey shoulder to monkey wee shoulder. Beastie. it's makes us it's so cheap and it's such a good together, blend it's a good togetherness because that 20 percent just dominates and if you don't have like wee beastie on its own and then go back to that blend it's almost like you're just drinking a peated scotch like a hundred percent just an isla scotch it's wonderful. That sounds and for cool. the money, it's it's mm-hmm. fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like mm-hmm. it probably averages out to like a thirty dollar bottle. Not bad, because that Arbeg Wee Beastie is going for miles and miles. And uh, you know, my show is not that expensive. There is a, it, it went up, but like it's like thirty. It's like thirty bucks. Yeah, if you thirty-ish. Want, you could offset that cost by buying the one seven five for like sixty mm-hmm. or whatever. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I think this is the ten, and I'm going to give it. This is a solid six, and that's probably influenced by my affinity for scotch. Do you think yeah. this is worse? I don't. Oh, I forget what I you rated it. But I haven't you think... given anything a six and a half. I don't think. Okay, what did you give the Blackheart? A six. Oh, you think? Yeah, so think you think it's on par? Yeah, I think this is on par. I think this is better than the six, um, and I think I gave that a six and a half. So I'd give this a six point seven. I'll I'll give it a six and a half. Yeah. But... I've the more we have and the more we think critically about things, the more I just downshift a lot of my whiskeys yeah. because of a how much space I think there could literally potentially be for something to be better. But two or B <laughs> A Dose two six <laughs> point A seven. and point two. Um I've had we've had some great stuff that just excels so predominantly yeah. in so many ways that when when you can have something like that those are deserving of the nines, you mm-hmm. know, and they're literally twice as good as the next runner up. Yeah. And so by giving these good, great, regular whiskeys, eights and nines, it's just not true. Yeah. It just is not the case. It takes away from the other. Yeah. Uh, it takes, it, it's an inaccurate scale. Yeah. So when you scale proportion, everything together, yeah, these run, run of the mill scotches that I like, yeah, there are sixes, sometimes sevens. That doesn't mean they're bad, though. No, and yeah, and that's also why I, I explain that like, four is still okay. When something's a four out of ten, it's okay. It's not the it's not bad yet. It's okay. Three, okay. Three is you're getting you're like that's bad. Three <laughs> three is bad. Two is gross. One is disgusting. And then if you're anywhere between zero and one and a half. That's you're in the pour it down the drain level. Yeah. So Carter, I want to ask you the um the episode that we did a while ago uh, was titled Carter versus Dylan. I plead the fifth. Um, this was over the this was a blind competition that you and I did over the ownership of the J Henry bottle. Yeah, if you remember, I do remember that. Which is um in whose possession still? Not mine. Do <laughs> uh, you guys want more J. Henry? No. It's okay, just... I was going to say, like, I see that all over now. Yeah. I see it all over the place, too. <laughs> but at the time, it was a seven-year. I, I think the seven years is slightly harder to find. But it, This was the more expensive one of the two. It's more of the mm-hmm. meme at this point. Um, 
But uh, one. Or the three. What episode number was that? And kind of your thoughts on that episode. Oh, crap. I'm going to say episode 15. 18. Oh, 18. I was close. I was, yeah, you were. Yeah, I was thinking it was 13. Ooh. Yeah, for real. I thought it was even sooner. Uh, That was fun. That was yeah. a good time. Uh, I just remember, what was it, the last one we did, and it was like an Ardbeg or something like that. And So... I forgot what the competition was. Was it blend off or who got the no, most it was right a, guessing? It was a blind te- yeah. taste test to see who I, could. I blinded you guys, you, right? You blinded yeah, us. Blinded. Who could guess the distillery? We oh, got over points. Discord. We got points yeah. for each thing. Yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 it yep. was for the distillery. Yeah. How The proof. The proof and then what, what it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. You could, yeah, I remember. because I, I think we got like a uh, lifeline on one of them too or something. No. Something like that, yeah. No, that was a fun episode. It, it definitely would be yeah. fun to do yeah, stuff games, like that. Games are always fun. I think we should do more games, but, yeah. too. That would be fun to do more like... Yeah, but the problem with games is prizes. We don't have good prizes. Who needs prizes when you got pride? That's Yeah, I guess. Just know like, that you won and mm-hmm. you kicked your friend's butt. Yep. I mean, it's true. But at the same time, it's like we are a whiskey podcast, so it's like you kind of want... Who's won the game so far? You get the uncle nearest... Or right. not the Uncle Nearest. I mean, Dylan's won the most games. The Earl Settler. Blend, the Earl Settler. Earl Settler. <laughs> most blend, well, of the two blend-offs. He's, or one. They're just one, one, right? Well, yep. do we want to talk about that? No. no it's it's coming soon. That's so all we'll say. It's, it's coming, one soon. coming soon. There's a second blend-off blend for, blend for 2022 coming up. And finally, I will be receiving my trophy mm-hmm. that I've been rightfully owed. I actually reminded you about it like six months ago. Yeah, I know. And then it's like, oh, yeah, you got to go buy your own trophy. <laughs> yeah, nerd. It's like, well, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that is, we we did say that because we wanted you to get the that, Glen Cairn you wanted. Yeah, it's true. We could have been like, oh, here's your thing. And you might not have, I mean, you probably would have liked it, but you would have been like, oh, I would have gotten <clears> this. Because we, we do want, we do want the winner to get what they want. I So I, re- I recorded my a little episode for when the blend I made and I'll release that, you know, the, the day after that we do our actual in-person, you know, competition that we do. Um, but I, I, I'm quite happy with what the blend is. I'll see how it, you know, yeah, mingles s- together. You're but sneak peeking too much. <laughs> we can, uh, I'm shut happy. up. I'm happy with it. Okay. So back to blind art bag. So it says ten or art bag. That's what we've come to the conclusion, because because we know this is the art art bag for sure. Uh, Dylan looks like he doesn't know. I don't know. And this is this is art bag. I feel and, like Zach has had this yeah. more than most. Oh, he has. I have. Well, the, the bottle's half gone. I've drank probably a third of it, and then the last bit <sighs> is shared. This is no. If you didn't know that there was a difference. I think we said this in. It's no the, different than a ten. Yeah, I think I think we said this in the um, first episode. We had this with the all the other lines. You wouldn't know there's a difference. No. Um, and I. What would you even describe the difference as? It doesn't even taste like it has a rum finish. There, rye, no, no, no. It wasn't rye, rum yes. finished. It was finished not. in rye casks. Ard bag is finished in rye casks. That's dumb. Which. That's not even what pirates drank. So, <laughs> they're stupid. Well, it was a good idea because we no. It, well, I think there's a reason that we know that not a lot of places do rye finishes. This is one of the first of its time. It's because it's bad. Because it's well, it seemingly doesn't provide that much of a flavor, a unique expression, but it's not bad. Like it's yeah. this is fine. This costed us. I mean, the, the committee release our art bag was two hundred and thirty bucks, yeah. and the art bag ten is. Nowadays, sixty-five when it used to be fifty. Blah blah, blah. you know, tariffs, inflation, whatever. Um, and that's where the real hit came. It's not that the art bank is bad as far as flavor. It's just not. It's not the value. Yeah. And then this, it's it's like an unfortunate because this was supposed to be like the send off whiskey for their Mickey heads. Yeah, Mickey heads. And it's just it's not it doesn't live up to. It's not his. a send off. No, it's not a send off. Yeah. I, this is my favorite committee release art they've done. Oh, just because yeah. I didn't realize it. It's him. Like 
That's his face. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that? No. That's his uh, face on the pirate? Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's him. Mickey heads. Yeah. Who else did you think it was? Just no, some generic. A pirate? Exactly. A generic pirate. I thought it was a generic pirate. Yeah. And then I love, because when you look closer at the art, like, it almost it does the mirror effect of, he's holding an art, art big bottle. And if you look close, you can see he's on the mini art big bottle. It's not super high definition, but you're like, yeah, that's it's still him. So he's holding the, himself, the himself. Um, and it, yeah, so what this does have, what they say. So what they on the back of the bottle, if you read it, smells like bananas and pears, tastes like allspice or what? What's the spice? Can you bring the bottle? It says this is. I guess let's do a review. Let's say what it is. Yeah, and then we'll get the bottle. Yeah, this is also. I guess it is also a six. It's actually, yeah, I'd say it's about the same. Oh, there it is. So I, I forgot what I rated the Heart Big Ten. Was it a six point? Uh, six and a half. You get a six and a half. Was it a six and a half? No, it was like a six point no. seven. Or that was six point uh, two. No, no, seven, it was seven. slightly higher than the Black Heart. Oh, okay. The Black Heart was a six and a half. This, I would bump it up point one because it is higher alcohol content. Yeah. That's my justification for the point one increase. So the flavor profiles are fruity flavors, generic, toffee, sourdough, and a seed, smoke. That's it. That's pretty generic. That's, it's generic. What is aniseed? I don't know. I'm guessing, Anise? I'm guessing it's some kind of, like, relative to alfalfa. Aniseed. That would be my guess. It's like, it's a, it's a relative... Oh. product that was a spice oh well then i'm just wrong my guesses are bad is it spelled a n i s e e e d um and a seed it seed. oh maybe a n i s e no it's and a seed like a n i word seed a word it's a plant i got it i got it. this says it's a yeah so this is a it's a plant that hails from the same family as carrots Celery and parsley it grows up to three feet tall and produces a flower with a white or a small white fruit known as anson seed. So it's like vegetable. It's a vegetable <laughs> note. That makes sense. You see that? It's weird. The plant yeah. looks weird, actually. You look weird. Kind of looks, looks like uh, the first season. Of Stranger Things, like the monster. <laughs> it does. <laughs> nice. But, uh. Demo Gorgon. <laughs> um. Yeah, I would agree. I think that the the second one is the Arted Bag and the first one is the 10. Liquor Boy, is that true? The first one you gave us was the 10. Yeah. And then yeah. this one was the okay. Arted yeah. Bag. Great sorry, name, though. Big... Oh, Excellent name, see. and great job on the art, and great job on the name. An R for every C. Um, I feel like we should finish on one more just kind of summarization of like a past episode. Okay. And let's do... So the tour of Scotland that we did, also we titled it The Gentleman's Last Podcast. So the name change that we did. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. Yeah. That was a good episode. That was. That was kind of like the first one that we kind of had an outline for. That's <laughs> fun. Um, I think that was episode 29? Ah, 31. 33. Three. Dang it, that was so long ago, baby. but the funny thing is, is that's closer, you know, We've, over the halfway we've been point. extraordinary or <clears throat> extraordinary longer than we've been a house. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll shine a little bit of light on the name change because I'm not sure what we did though. There was uh, so we've been recording February 2020 yeah. recording. Yeah, posted was May of 2020. Mm-hmm. YouTube baby. Um, we did put to YouTube some earlier episodes, which we I think we said on early, other podcasts. But uh, the same time, so at the time we picked that name, there was no one else named that, and we weren't necessarily whiskey or alcohol 
podcast at the time, so we thought it was a kind of a cool name. Yeah, just a good generic boys club yep. name. And uh, by the time May rolled around and we started actually posting stuff, there was other channels with the same name. It's pretty, it's a common name if you actually think about it. So that's the name change. But uh, yeah, how do you guys feel about Whiskey House Clubhouse? Well, my brain made it up, so I like it a lot. <laughs> I at first thought it was just too close to a children's TV show. Yeah, we don't want to get and copywritten. I, I, st- by I, st- I still think cease it's and desist. I still think it's unfortunately close enough for someone to make a claim. And if because someone, some people <clears> could <throat> could nickel and dime us to death with lawyer fees with that name, this name. But also, I think they also don't want to be associated with our content. Alcohol. So they might just leave that. It's um, different enough where they probably wouldn't go yeah, after us. With but the lawyer. origin of the name is a... no. I'm not gonna. I'm not actually. I'm not gonna say anything because then it would, it would, it would make a claim <laughs> that it was based off of something. It's it was not, not based off of anything. I made it up in my own yeah. brain, which is more. That's actually more believable that Carter ser- seriously made this up than. The alternative because Absolutely. nobody else had uh nope i'm just gonna say leave it there but i think the name fits i think whiskey house pub house do so you think we grew into the name or the name has become at least enough it's it's become enough yeah. of our personality okay. and our content yeah we're not gonna change our content that much we're a beverage podcast yeah that's what we are we are the beverage house pu- pub house. Yep. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and if we if we went to like if 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 you went to a pub, you'd see us. You know, just different versions of us. It wouldn't be Zach Carter Dylan, but you'd see three, probably guys in their twenties. Two guys in their twenties. Three to guys. To yeah, don't know how to talk. To- <laughs> Hey, speak Ouch. for yourself. Ouch. <laughs> speak for yourself. What? What? No, no. Well, he I was is. Just, I yeah, was. He is. Yeah. yeah, he is speaking for himself. No. Um, that are just too, we're, we're kind of in, we're just, we're along for the ride and we really wanted to learn some more stuff about what we're being served. Yeah. I just want good booze. Good booze. Yeah. I'm, uh, I think this is kind of turning into just a final thoughts, summarization on it. So, uh, Zach, if you have anything to add, we'll go back. But I, my, my final thoughts are kind of like, I, I'm, I'm really happy we hit 50, I think that's kind of a fun thing for us. You know, I don't, we're not in it for to get thousands, thousands of listeners because we don't we're just here have any fun. thousands and thousands of listeners. We have like the, three regulars. Yeah, we exactly. have tens of listeners. But I mean, th- th- we, this started out as I, at least for me, kind of a fun project and getting you two kind of familiar with some more things. It was kind of like I, I could dump information on you two. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of fun for me. And now oh, it's yeah. our turn to dump information on Dylan. <laughs> you say we're going to change this podcast to something that is more aligned with our interests? or Yeah, we're, it's going to be a Dragon Ball Z podcast. <laughs> it's going to be a <laughs> Dragon Ball Z podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but, uh, but Super Saiyan 4, though. Yeah, you know, but Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, Dragon Ball GT is underrated, guys. That's all we're saying. Oh, no, that, it's happening. Yeah, it's already happening. Sorry, Dylan is too late. Um, but Monkey Tails. Monkey Tails. <laughs> they should have kept them. should have kept them. It's kind of weird they grew back. Let's be real. It's a little weird. Uh, but I, so to me, I, that's something that I really enjoyed. And yeah, the fun, the fun episodes that I really have, you know, enjoyed in the past have been the, the $20, $30 challenges. So I love doing those, getting more people on there. The guests that we've had, you know, we haven't had a ton recently. Uh, you know, we had Liquor Boy, but like Liquor we had Griffin, Boy. you know, Dawson, Nick, and the, Nick was in early ones. Yep. Some of those early ones, Got wow, cut. the audio is not good. Yeah, but go- I love listening back to those. Yeah, <laughs> and well, it helps that we were, we lived it, so it's like, oh, I remember that. Oh yeah, it's nostalgic yeah. for us. But I think. Podcasts, you listen to a lot of podcasts. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. And ours is the same, same exception. It's people just doing what they would normally do, yeah. right? They're just talking as their buds, their friends, 
about some a, a specific topic, and they just throw a microphone in front. And mm-hmm. that's how I've always viewed this, you know. Yeah. We don't got to record this. We could be doing our drinking games and making our cocktails and taste testing all these whiskeys only for us to know. And it's not that hard, and it's way more fun to throw a mic in front of our mouths yeah. and talk about it. Mm-hmm. And maybe maybe we're buried in the bajillion podcasts out there, and we'll never make it big. That's okay. That's okay. Because this is way more fun than the alternative. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yep. So we've done this for 50, 50 official episodes, about 100 <laughs> unofficial 100. ones. 100. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean realistically, like sixty-five, sixty-five but unofficial episodes, fifty posted episodes, fifty got. posted. That's and this was all. That's and, something. And Dylan cool. has put in the most effort. Added, added it all of them. Listen to all of them at least once because he has to go and re-listen to them and edit, you know, split them up, clip them up so that they don't sound uh, bad, bad, and they still end up all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not because the editing, but because the content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we're I am really glad that we've done this. Yeah, I'm happy we've done this too. It's yep. fun. Yeah. Carter, give us your thoughts, your reflection on the last forty nine episodes completely. One thing I have to say is I'm a big buffalo boy. Big, big buffalo boy. Big buffalo boy. It's coming back. We're yep. making t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's another thing we made so many empty promises on this podcast <laughs> vlogs uh, patreons we, the, we actually have to do the bottle merch, giveaway though I said that bottle giveaway oh, oh man that was, and that was gonna be this episode too the bottle giveaway that's gonna go to like one person yeah. hey we'll give you hey you still have an unopened bottle of uh our oh, right that's Just not get, a giveaway what do you mean it's not a giveaway it's totally a giveaway mine's a throwaway you yeet you can have this it's for you all right. He's like, I don't want it. <laughs> um, no, but but seriously, uh, I have had a, a great time doing these. Um, definitely expanding my horizons on whiskey, especially from like when me and Zach first started. I mean, you're just a little bit older than me, so you were just a little bit. Yep. Do you, remember, so you, do you remember when we all like love Knob Creek? Yes. We thought Knob Creek was like the coolest thing ever. We thought Knob was like the that? best thing ever. Yeah. And do you, is it the best thing ever, guys? Uh, You've grown away. I've I've drifted away from Knob Creek. I don't think I've touched a Jim Beam product in yeah. forever, but except it's, unless it's um, for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. yep. Unless it's Booker's, I haven't touched a Jim Beam yep. product or Old Granddad. Yeah, but I'm sure Carter, you've experienced the same as me when I say that when I just start. I'll say I'll I'll tell people like hey yeah I'm on a, like a a whiskey podcast with my friends, or yeah I, I know a bit about whiskey yeah you know? and then and then I'll, I'll also add like oh I don't hold a candle to my friend Dylan mm-hmm. like he knows a ton, but like I know a bit, and then I just spew you just spew knowledge spew of people bourbon knowledge especially but and they're just whiskey like... in general and they're like you got like who cares you I know. know I mean I do I, I do too I care I care a little bit it's fun but. Be, it's because we did this podcast, right? We we would have been them had we yeah. not had we not kept doing this thing. Yeah. Or and Dylan has enlightened us to so much. And, yeah. <laughs> Mister, I think I do a little too much research, but it's still fun. Mm-hmm. And uh, so what I, I think what I was going to say is that we share the sentiments that I am I'm really glad that we know as much as we do mm-hmm. because I also get to tell people I get to be a know it all and I get true. to tell I get to when people when someone says like, hey I found a bottle of this and I just. That's not I, worth I, it. I grimace or I cringe because I'm like, oh, that poor soul is you about poor. to go exactly what or go through exactly what we what went we through. Did. Yeah. And I'll say, yeah, it's it's pretty good. It tastes like this, you know, and I'll try to compare it to something that it does taste like. That's also, me- you know, mediocre. And that's just fun. Yeah. Like, but I can even I didn't even know that, you know, like when, when, when you go to Total Wine, like we go to the the, the bourbon, the, the whiskey section, that's a single alley of that liquor store yeah a single lane or two lanes with a back shelf that building that liquor store has dozens for other liquors and spirits and wines this is a, this is a tiny little portion, little baby portion. This, is, this is our niche this is our niche <laughs> this is our niche that we yeah. and i still haven't I, well I'm, to be fair i'm not interested in even trying all those whiskeys no. you know like all those bottom shelf crap yeah just throw it away 
And then all of the obviously overpriced stuff, not going to try it unless someone says it's, it's actually good. It's absolutely yep. good. But when you go there and you see, like, oh, that's new. Mm-hmm. And you know it's new because it wasn't because you you've been you know what's around. You're like that's that's the new one. That's new. So you you can I mean I don't always pick it up, but I I, I always research it later. You know I'm mm-hmm. like oh I wonder what people thought of that, and that's really fun. It to, is fun because you don't you can't just do that overnight. No, you cannot just Google all these facts because when you do that, all you do is you go to every liquor store and ask, hey, do you guys have Buffalo Trace? Yeah, do you guys have Blends? You guys do you have, have Blends? And then everybody's like, "No, get out of my store." Yeah, it's like, "Leave, please," because that's the same question that the last guy asked yeah, me. Yeah, but we're not like that. No, we're enlightened. I don't ask people for Buffalo no. Trace or Blanton's or E.H. Taylor or anything like that anymore. I'll go look on the shelves or see if they have anything behind them. But other than that, I'm like, I'm looking for stuff on the shelf. I'm looking for something new. I'm looking for something different. I don't know. I've gotten to the point where it's just like, you know, mm-hmm. Buffalo Trace, great, cool. I love Buffalo Trace. It's amazing. Good brand, but like always on a hunt for something new. Yeah, like the two XO that we have now. Store picks, yeah, just ones you don't something recognize. different. It's just, and then you know, and you might buy something that you don't necessarily love, but it's still you're trying something new and you're doing something a little different, and it just it's a uh, it's fun, and I think the the community in the the whiskey yeah. community is it's a really really fun. It's. Yeah, I'm I'm the least involved in the community among us. I'm the one that's the furthest away <laughs> for sure. And I still like feel like I can go up to people who are in that community and be like ask them and trust them yeah. on their opinion. Yeah. Like when we went to that whiskey tasting. Mm-hmm. How many of our listeners or just people in general go to a whiskey tasting? But when you do that, you just, everyone there, you feel like you could ask them like, well, "Hey, what's your favorite?" Yeah, and you, you, and you respect yeah. their decision because. Mm-hmm. They're tasting new stuff, which means that they they know what they're looking for. They have they've already they have a developed sense of taste. Like that guy we talked to at the Scotch tasting, right? I think the old guy, the guy, the creepy guy that invited well, us into his basement. Yeah, that was a little literally. weird. Literally, happy um, that never happened. Yeah, I'm well, really happy that well, never happened. I, I still think back and I wonder, like, it's like what you know, it's like what he promised. You know, he was like, I have all these things. Well, he's got a lot. He said he had a lot of Irish whiskey. Got some yes. candy for you, kids. exactly. And I was more excited yeah, for but, the Irish. But what if he was telling the truth? Uh, he probably was. I mean, he probably yeah. he just seems creepy. Well, he, he never. We, it's not that we didn't contact him. He didn't contact us. Exactly. So that old guy at the whiskey tasting from the Black Forest Black Inn. Forest Inn, like last year, last October. Last yeah. October. Don't hit us up. Unless you, unless you mean it. Unless you absolutely mean it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's been a good 50 episodes that we've done. Um, I think there's a lot of things that we're looking forward to doing. A lot of things that we've learned from. And in the future, I think there's a lot more things coming. True. So I'm excited to see that. But for now... This is the end of this episode. We thank you for listening to the Whiskey House Pub House and all of its memories. Wishy-washy. Yeah, wishy-washy <laughs> kind of yep. episodes. Yep. But I Mediocrity. Bet, yeah, but when someone listens to us, they, an angel gets his wings. An angel gets his wings. No, I was going to say, like they, they, if they're actually following along, they probably have a similar knowledge that we do. An I angel know. envy gets its wings. I would like to add one thing. If there's any listener out there, any anyone, I would be so thrilled if somebody started from the beginning and listened to all these throughout. Just I just want to know that somebody's done that other than Brian or Dad. <laughs> but um, email me or send me a message on Instagram. Uh, in- Instagram is Whiskey House Pub House on Instagram. Email is whiskeyhousepubhouse at gmail.com. Let us know, please. I am so curious to see who the first person is going to be to listen to this and send me a message or Zach or Carter, whoever. It's definitely going to be I Brian. I want to know. I, I got to know. It's definitely going to be Brian. But uh, It's a race. It's a race against Brian. So concluding this, possibly the longest episode. I don't know how, what we're at, but yeah, who knows? does it come close to Bourbon Trials? So no. it doesn't matter. <laughs> so Bourbon Trials was like five hours long. 
and that was and I was eating like five hours in two parts. Yeah, so it was two like two and a half hours. Cumulatively, like, no, like no yeah. I forgot about Sebastian was on that episode. Yeah. Oh man, shout yeah, out that to him. was uh, uh, all right. Landing you know. this plane, whether or not we're crashing this thing, but we're bringing it down. Spruce now. Goose going into the water. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. <laughs>